Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Windows 11 release and what it means for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So today is the 5th of October 2021 and this is the official release date of Windows 11. And everyone who's running Windows 11 on an x86 platform has now got the opportunity to upgrade to Windows 11 officially. So for example, on my Ryzen 7 Windows PC, if I check for an update, it's telling me that I can run Windows 11 and I'm just waiting for those updates to become available to me. If I want to force an upgrade today, all I need to do is to download the Windows 11 installation assistant and this application will allow me to do a full upgrade to Windows 11. So this is all well and good for Windows 11 on the x86 desktop platforms, but what about the M1 chip? What about Windows 11 on ARM? Windows 11 ARM is only available as an OEM license. This refers to the original equipment manufacturer. So this means that only hardware manufacturers are able to officially license Windows 11 ARM for their devices. So for example, Microsoft produced their own Surface line of computers and many of these run on ARM chips and these come with Windows 10 ARM and future devices presumably will come out with Windows 11 ARM pre-installed on their devices and then pre-licensed as well. So if you're planning to install Windows 11 ARM natively on M1 Mac hardware, well, I'm afraid that's not possible. Not only because Boot Camp Assistant is not supported, but the drivers simply do not exist for Windows 11 to function on the new Mac hardware. But most importantly, there isn't an actual license that the end user can legitimately use to install Windows 11 ARM. And this also applies to virtualization. So for example, VMware Fusion, which is one of the most popular virtualization softwares, did announce that Windows is a second priority behind Linux. And one of the main reasons for this is because Microsoft does not sell licenses of Windows ARM. And furthermore, Michael Roy, who is the product manager of VMware Fusion, has stated that their intentional decision to not support Windows is driven by the fact that Windows on ARM on a Mac is not in compliance with their end user licensing agreement. And this also seems to be a sentiment shared by Microsoft, who recently said that Windows ARM virtualization on M1 Apple Silicon Macs is, quote, not a supported scenario. This all sounds pretty bad for the fate of Windows 11 ARM for the M1 chip. However, there is one high performance virtualization software which works very well on the M1 chip, and that is Parallels. And they circumvent this end user licensing agreement by passing on the responsibility to the customer. They say here that customers who install a guest operating system in Parallels desktop virtual machines are responsible for making sure that they are compliant with each OS's end user licensing agreement. And despite the ambiguity in the ELA, Parallels have gone ahead and produced a very competent virtual machine software, and even gone so far as to do things like provide extra support and fixes for games that don't render correctly, as well as provide native M1 support. And also, despite the lack of support, Microsoft are actually making it easier to install Windows 11 ARM. For example, they now provide the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file directly, as long as you're a Windows Insider member, which is completely free. Previously, to get Windows 11, we had to download Windows 10 ARM and then do an inline upgrade with some registry fixes, but that's completely unnecessary now. If you'd like to install Parallels for yourself, then please follow the link in the description for the Parallels 14-day free trial. And if you use the code AppleWiki10, then you'll receive a 10% discount and you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. Another big concern has been the requirement for TPM 2.0. So I've done videos on this in the past, Basically, Windows 11 requires Trusted Protection Module 2.0, which obviously the M1 Apple Silicon Mac does not support. Even if you successfully install Windows 11 ARM, if you do try to perform an update, you'll be met with this error message. Thankfully, virtual TPM support was added to the standard edition of Parallels, so you don't have to spend any extra money for the Pro Edition. We can use the standard edition to enable virtual TPM support. All you have to do is to open the virtual machine settings and then go ahead and add a virtual TPM chip. And then once you type in the tpm.msc, then you'll see that the TPM is now enabled within the virtual machine, and now you can perform updates as normal. Another thing that is looking up for virtualization is the fact that you can actually activate Windows 11 ARM. When you open up Windows 11 ARM on Parallels, you'll notice that it's saying that we have no product key found on this device. And then we also get this annoying watermark in the bottom right hand side of the screen. This also prevents us from being able to personalize the computer correctly, for example, changing the background and even very basic things like showing recently opened files. However, it is actually possible to enter a valid product key. All you need is a Windows 10 product key. And then if we enter it here, then it will activate. So for example, here I've got my Windows 11 Pro activated via a digital license key, and this is linked to my Microsoft account. 
And this is still running on my Parallels ARM machine. And this is despite the fact that Microsoft do not sell a Windows 11 ARM license. And despite all of the legal challenges that Parallels will need to overcome, it has managed to produce a virtual machine software with extremely good performance. So here with Geekbench, we're getting a single core score of 1,507 and a multi-core score of 5,025. And this score is extremely impressive. And what's even more impressive is that this operating system is very capable of running games. So here I'm going to be running the benchmark for the game Hitman Absolution. And this game is going to be running under emulation on the ARM chip under this virtual machine. And it's very impressive that we're able to run this game at all on the ARM architecture under a virtual machine running at around 29-30 frames per second. And Hitman is not the only game that works. Other games, for example, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 performs very well through parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, as well as games like Metal Gear Solid 5 Grand Zeroes. If you're interested in finding out more games that are compatible with parallels on the M1 Mac, then please check out this video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So despite the fact that this is Windows 11's release date, you might be a bit disappointed to find out there's no official news about Windows 11 ARM, whether it's going to be licensed correctly either to end users or to other manufacturers, or whether Apple and Microsoft are ever going to work out whether Bootcamp is ever going to be fully supported on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, this is fully made up for by the fact that Parallels is such a good virtual machine software, and I really can't wait to see what the next generation of M chips, for example the M1X or the M2, when it comes out later this year, will be able to achieve in terms of performance. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.